was the one to judge You said you had enough And that you really want to be with me What you get is more than what you see At first you struck me like Any other girl that I could find But when you looked me in the eyes I knew that this was right You're a pretty girl with a pretty name But I'm pretty sure that you're not the same Please like you You're not the same Feels like you read my mind And there's more than meets the eye Pretty girl with a pretty name But I'm pretty sure that you're not the same Feels like you read my mind And there's more than meets the eye Pretty girl with a pretty name But I'm pretty sure that you're not the same Feels like you read my mind And there's more than meets the eye
Karl Meyer didn't pray often, but when he did, it was usually to ask for God's help in breaking up with a woman and to spare him the nasty drama that usually accompanied such callous and unexpected departures. Over the years, Carl had dumped dozens of women, and not one of them had ever seen it coming. Every retreat was always meticulously planned, right down to the personalized stationery. Hence his record of successful getaways from women who did not want to see him go. So when he decided to break up with Edie Britt, Carl prayed to God yet again to help him avoid all the unnecessary drama. Unfortunately for Carl, God was in the mood to be entertained. Edie, baby, calm Let's down. Let's be honest with ourselves, Edie. We haven't been happy in a long time. Who are you to tell me I haven't been happy, you miserable son of a bitch? I have been ecstatic. Okay. I I I'm the one who hasn't been happy. Then. then why did you propose to me? I don't know. I have told every woman in this town that we are getting married, and all you have to say to me is, I don't know? What else do you want me to say? I'm, I'm sorry. What's going on? Is there someone else? Oh, my God. Oh, crap. As he sat there, Carl couldn't help but wonder why God had forsaken him. It never occurred to him that God might be a woman.